Hi, my name is Daniel Rosen. I'm a sophomore at Pomona College, majoring in mathematics. I'm from Chicago, Illinois, and here at Pomona, I run cross country, and I sing in the Pomona College Choir. A typical day, I'll wake up around 9 o'clock. I'll go to breakfast at Ferry Dining Hall right over there, and then um, I'll go to class at 10 o'clock, where I have a computer science class and then a math class at 11 o'clock, and then I'll go get lunch. And then from then on, I'll do some last minute work before a 2.45 class, and then I'll go to practice after that. And then some days after practice, I'll have a choir rehearsal, and then after that, homework. So this is, uh, we're sitting on Walker Beach, uh, which is one of the big fields we have at Pomona, just like kind of a quad. Um, and behind us is Walker Wall, where students can write messages, uh, whatever they want to say, advertise for events or for their views. So this is in the Pomona section yeah. of the Claremont Colleges. Yeah, so what exactly does it mean that you're at Pomona, but in the Claremont Consortium? So uh, the school you attend is generally where you live. Um, you will probably take the most classes at the school you attend, but you have the option of taking classes at other schools. Um, if you attend Pomona, you're most likely to major at Pomona, but students at Pitts or Scripps are known to major at Pomona in computer science or, uh, or math. So what made you choose Pomona as opposed to maybe one of the other five C's? Pomona, one of the big draws for Pomona was when I visited, um, I visited as a, as a runner and the team was very welcoming and, and it was really a, a great vibe I got from the school, from the people at the school. So um, that, was, that was a huge factor in my decision. Pomona is also the biggest campus here um, with 1,600 students and largest like area campus. So that's, a, that's another consideration. And I think they have the most class options of professors as well. So this is Edmonds, this is the computer science and cog sci lab uh, building, and uh, this is where I take all my computer science classes. Great. Uh, what's the sort of balance between computer science classes that you take and strictly math courses that you take? So this semester I took two math courses, one computer science course, and the next semester is the same. Um, I'll probably have to switch that up at some point to get both majors. I might be a double major. Oh, okay. um, I haven't declared or anything, but... What's uh, been your favorite CS class so far? CS class? So I'm still in the intro sequence. Um, this, this semester was really... Or no, last semester was more fun. Last semester was um, functional programming and uh, a lot of like lower level stuff. Working in assembly, working in like finite automata. Pretty yeah, cool, pretty yeah. Cool stuff. I, yeah, yeah. I could pretend to know anything about that, and that would be a lie. Um, well, yeah, let's head on in then. Tell me about the Pomona Math Department. Our math department is very strong. We've got a lot of, of really good professors. Um, a lot of a lot of people who teach what they research. So they're very passionate about what, what's being taught. They're very knowledgeable about about what's being taught. Um, and it's, it's just a really awesome department. Great, uh, what are the requirements of the math major? Requirements of the math major, um, it depends on what track you're in. So there's three tracks, there's a general track, a pure track, and then a stats track. There might be an applied track too, I'm not actually sure, but not a lot of people do that here. Okay. Um, right now I'm on the pure track, so that requires like the intro sequence, which goes up through like linear algebra and calc three, and then a bunch of, of different transition classes, um, like middle level, and then probably five upper division pure math classes after that. Um, and I'm, I'm about three classes away after this semester from that. Um, and then the stats track has more classes, oh, stats of course, sure. and then general is kind of a mix of both, but a little bit easier to get. Totally. What's been your favorite class so far? Right now, choose? yeah. Um, right now my favorite class is real analysis. I'm in that right now. Um, it's just a very, a very like conceptually uh, rewarding class. You learn a lot of, it's like understanding the the underpinnings of calculus, like why we can do calculus, and that's that's really cool. Um, and I guess overall, why math? Like, what what draws you to do mm -hmm. math? What makes you passionate about math? I just really think it's cool. Um, there's also a lot of jobs in math. Biostats is a huge field right now. Um, a lot of like big tech companies are looking to hire biostat majors, and it pays very well. So that's definitely a motivation there. Sure. Um, and then other than that, it's just. I find it fun, I find it rewarding, so. Mm -hmm. But what do you think makes Pomona's math department unique from other math departments that you were looking at when you were applying to schools? I think a huge thing is like professor, like interactions with professors, like they're all very willing to like reach out, they all have office hours every every week. Um, you can talk to any of them, they're, they're friendly, they're encouraging, they're funny, it's awesome. Like they're, they're very cool, very cool professors. Great, amazing. 
Gus, you got anything else? No, I, yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 come on, come on. Uh, nine. Ah. <laughs>what does a week on the team look like? A week on the team. So our workouts are generally Tuesday, Thursday. Those are like faster effort, like kind of long things that we do. And then every other day is generally recovery. Race days are Saturdays and then we do a long day on Sunday. Um, that's like generally what in-season looks like. Um, during cross country, we do more like higher volume workouts. And then in track, we cut down and do um, lower volume, but a little bit faster. Sure, yeah. And what's your event? I do the steeplechase, uh, 3K steeplechase. Jump over barriers, into water and like into water. One of them, one of them, a lap is one, water oh, jump. One of them yeah, not all of them. Oh, God, that would be horrible. <laughs> How do you balance uh, your commitments on the team with your academics? We have a joke on oh, with academics. We've got a joke on the team that you're not allowed to have friends off the team. No friends, no friends the off team. the team. No friends. Um, with academics, uh, it's not too bad. Like the team takes up a lot of time, but being efficient. Like it helps you be efficient outside sure. of uh, outside of time that you can't study. So it okay. hasn't it hasn't like hurt at all. What has been the most surprising thing about studying at Pomona for you? So to me, the most surprising thing is how how tight the communities are within each major. And as a school, uh, there's there's just this great sense of community that we have. Um, Professors will reach out to students, students will reach out to professors, events are organized. It's, it's a really cool thing. Everyone's supportive of each other and it, I think it, it really helps build the, the Pomona environment. Amazing. Yeah. And what sort of advice would you give to say like the younger version of yourself, yeah. high school senior who's thinking about applying here? Um, first thing would be pick a place. All schools are great, right? All colleges are incredible. Most of the schools people are applying to are just excellent institutions. But you want to find a place that the professors and the people there like really care you know you want to find a place where the people are cool the people you can get along with and and professors who are interested in you and will reach out to you um, and the second thing is if you don't find a place like that know that you can't go wrong like there's not a lot of bad places you can end up for college if you like this video and want to learn more about top colleges please subscribe